guys, this is KJ48. Welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. It's season one, and this is part 236, and I have a way to make this system work the way I want it to, but it's going to be pretty complicated. It, in, it, in, it incorporates minecarts and minecart tracks. Oh, boy. Um, let me give you an idea of what I'm going to be doing here. First thing, let me drop off some of this cobblestone. And let's uh, let's do this. All right. Basically, what we're gonna need is first of all, do we have a minecart uh, lying around? It doesn't look like we do. It's okay. No worries. I just need to get some iron here. Man, I am really gonna have to do some mining. There we go. And if this is the way it's supposed to work, then that's the way it's supposed to work. A minecart with a hopper. And that'll basically just run on a track. And it will run across each of those hoppers and place one item in each. Um, it's going to be a lot more complicated than that, but uh, that's the basic idea. So let's uh, clear some space here. It's getting a lot more complicated than I wanted it to be, but um, I think it's going to be cool in the end. So I think it's worth it. Uh, first of all... We gotta get up there. Clear, clear out some area here. Am I standing in a hopper? I didn't know you could actually stand in them. That's pretty funny. Alright, um... So, basically what you do is you just, uh, like so. Alright, that's the basic idea. Uh, the only thing is I'm gonna have to figure out a way for this to work the way I want it to. Uh, basic, um... I guess I could have the thing starting right here. Let's see, like that. Yeah, we'll have it go behind. I don't think you could be right next to it. Although, I don't know what happens when you put minecart tracks right next to each other. Let's see. Like that, like that. Oh, can you have it right next to each other? Would that work? Here, let's let's test this out. I didn't know. I thought you'd have to have a spot in between. Not that it really matters. I have enough room back here where it won't be a big deal either way, but I'm kind of curious. Um, another thing we need is a booster booster track, which I know we have one of these, a bunch of these in here, powered rails or whatever. And we need some redstone. Let's put some of this stuff away. All right. This is going to end up being really cool, believe it or not. I know it seems pretty convoluted, but um, it's going to be pretty cool. Alright, so let's knock this up, that up, make some room, put that down, put some light back here. There we go. Let's see, let's see how this works. So that's the basic idea. And now, if we put... Put stuff in there. It's going to put one item in each. See? Pretty cool. Now let's take those all out. Now the trick is... To have that... Like, I want that to be... I want that thing to be st sitting right here. Okay? And I want to be able to put stuff in it and hit the button and have it go up in a loop uh, for a certain amount of time. I, I guess I should have... The um, I guess I should have the connector, the track that makes it go, stay up there and come back down here. I guess I should have that on its own signal. So, let me see. How I want to do this. <laughs> Things for sure. I'm gonna need room here. We will build this out of cobblestone for now, because I'm not sure what I'm going to need it, what I'm going to need. But uh, for now, we'll just deal with cobblestone. All right, so that could go there. Uh, this is the end, so that can go right there, there. All right, so let's do this. Oh, 
Oh, that's not going to work. Um, because I don't think I can change the connector rail where it is because it's a hopper. So um, let's do this. Ooh, did that break it up into a regular one? Oh, that kind of sucks. Eh, not a really a big deal, though. All right, so let's do this. No. Okay. Actually, let's just have it right here. This should be easy. Oops, I need to do that. Let's just have it right here. It'll just be easier like that. It's a little bit out of the way, but it's not so much of a big deal. Um, and then this will come down here, like so. I'll put something right there. Yeah, I don't know. I think that I think that might work. Um, so we're gonna need something right under here. Oh God, here I am messing around minecart tracks again. This is gonna be painful. <laughs> um, actually, I don't want that to be shown. So, well, you know what, I might not have a choice. Um, that's going to be the area. Actually, no, I could have it to the side. I should be able to put this right here. Yep, that's what I need to do. So, you guys are going to have to bear with me because it's been a long time since I messed around with redstone. And uh, if you thought I was bad with it before, pff, you know... Uh, yeah, this is Greek to me at this point. Um, I'm trying to think of where I want to put this lever. I need two levers. I need, well, let's just do this for now. Um, let me think. Can I put it right there? Let's go see how I did it over here. I'm just letting you guys know, this is going to be painful. <laughs> this is going to be me fumbling around trying to figure this out, but that's what it's going to be in vanilla. So if you want me to show everything, then, you know, I could do some stuff off camera to learn, but a lot of it's going to be a learning process. Yeah, this is going down. That's why it works. Um, all right. I don't think it needs to go down for it to work, though. I think that's the way I did it before powered rails were introduced, maybe. I don't, I don't really remember. We'll, we'll mess around and see what we can figure out. So let's uh, let's do this. And let's see what happens when we put down a powered rail. Put this on top. And give it a redstone signal. There it goes. Hmm. Doesn't seem to go that far, does it? Uh, make this a powered rail as well. Actually, wait, why didn't it go that far? He doesn't have enough juice to get up there? Huh. It's not a lot of power. It looks like it's getting up there a little bit farther each time. Look at that. That's so weird. Alright, fair enough. Um, so this one's going to have to be a power rail as well. Damn it. Right, I'm just going to use some diamond because I'm getting sick of using all my iron. All right, so let's do that as a powered rail. That one can stay powered. Let's get a button as well. There it goes. Now we're getting another powered rail up here somewhere. Have to be this one. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to try and power all these powered rails, though. Okay. Oops, did I get in? <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. There we go. There it goes. Wow, it's slow. Why is it so slow? It was pretty good last time. 
Huh. That seems pretty slow, doesn't it? What the hell? What am I missing? Why is it so slow? Is it quicker if it's a hopper minecart? Hopper minecarts are faster? What the hell? That's kind of weird. Alright, fair enough, but it doesn't make much sense to me. I don't know why hopper ones would be quicker. Alright, alright, fine. So you know what, maybe we could take some of these out. See if it'll work with just one. I wish it would stay a hopper minecart. <laughs> minecart with hopper, that's what I meant. Can I put this underneath it? Good. I was hoping I could because uh, it's going to be in the way. Otherwise, well, it could be. It could possibly be in the way. All right, that works. Okay. All right. So that part of the stage is done. Did I set my timer? Boy, I must be having a good time now if I f forgot if I set my timer. So now we need a little switch that's going to change this one right here. Um, so that can be right, like, uh, let's have it, we don't want to have it underneath. We want to have it right here. And that's going to go right now. Does it have to go on the side of it? Oh, shoot, I don't know. Uh, let me quick make a lever. Like I said, this stuff's all, like, foreign to me. I haven't messed around vanilla in forever. There we go. Now that should come back down. Okay. So what we should be able to do is we should be able to run some stuff right there. Let's try this out. How did that flip back? Look, that shouldn't... That should be flipping back. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Alright, so now we have a way to, to decide which way this thing is going. This is going to work out, guys. This is going to work out. I'm, I'm kind of excited about this, actually. It's pretty cool. So, where do I want this switch to be? I guess I could have it behind it. Uh, right there. So let's uh, do this. Which one is it? It's th that one, and then the next one. It's this one. So we should be able to put some that. Uh, actually, yeah, we could have it like that. Okay. So where's my redstone? Is that going to work? Let's see. Actually, you know what? That's going to hit it as well. Actually, the first one... Wait, why is that going back? See, that's kind of weird. I don't understand why that's doing that. Oh, because when I, t when I knock that up, it goes back. Huh. I thought they're supposed to stay the way they are until you... No, I guess not. I guess that's the way it's supposed to work. Eh, it doesn't really matter either way. Um, so that button's going to hit it. I, I really want the button to be separate from the lever. Um, let's knock this out. We don't need that right there for now. So the button's going to set that off, and I don't want that. But I do want that to set it off. That's fine. All right, so let's just move it back a little bit. All right, there we go. Alright, so that is closed. 
and this should open it. Oh, God. It's awesome. This is going to work out. I thought this was going to be so much more complicated. All right. So what we'll do is we'll make this again. And then we'll put it there. And that stays there. Now that should be closed, which is fine. And then we're going to put a bunch of cobblestone in here. I press the button. And now each one of these should be getting one cobblestone. Beautiful. It's got minecart tracks. And then we, when we're done, and we want it to come back down, we hit that. And it's going to come back down to us. Oh, my goodness. I love it. I love it. It's done. That part's done. That's the hardest part, too. Um, the next part I'm going to do is... Actually, I could probably do the next part maybe the same kind of way. Uh, if I really want to get complicated. Basically, what I want is I'm going to have... An area behind the the furnaces, which is going to be hoppers feeding uh, coal into the hop into the furnaces. This I don't really need to make automated. I can do this automat. I could do this manually because there's not much reason for it. Um, you know, I just got to come back here. Like it's going to be able to hold so much coal that it's not really going to matter. Yeah, I'll make this part manual. I don't I don't mind. So what you'll do here is. I can't, I don't think I can knock that up. No, I can't knock that up. So what you'll do is... And then you'll put coal in each one. It's that simple. I'll do this part manually. It's not really a big deal. Um, you're not, I'm not going to have to come back here often anyway. So let's go get some coal. Honestly, one stack will be pretty good anyway, but I don't know what else I would do with it. Actually, um, yeah, that'll work. Let's do that. I'm not going to put more than one stack in anyway, so this is kind of this is kind of pointless. I'm just, I don't know. I could fit as much as six stacks in each uh, furnace, like being ready to be fed in. I'm just doing it like this just because I want to make sure it's going to work, and it is. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to get the stuff we want to cook. Which is going to be iron. And that's it. I don't have that much stuff to cook. Well, I will. I'll have, I'll have a lot of food to cook and stuff at some point. And then you'll take the iron and you'll put it in here along with anything else you want to cook. Oh, there we go. Pork, clay... Cook some sand up. Let's go get some more sand. Sand and iron. Then you f hit the switch. And it's basically going to be... Ugh, it takes a while, but... I don't know. It's fine. I could always mess around it if I need to. So the stuff's going to just, you know, wait in the hopper for its turn if it's not something that can be... Actually... It's dropping the, the cobblestone first. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Now it's dropping the meat. And if there's cobblestone being cooked and it can't take the meat, it'll just wait in the hopper. As like a little buffer, basically. And everything should be feeding, in, feeding into this chest. And there you go. That's it, and we just leave that up there until uh, until stuff stops cooking, and then we can bring it back down. And that's it. That's it, man. This is actually uh, pretty good. Pretty good. I don't need that there. Now to make it look decent. Mm, we're going to need some smooth stone. For the sides, um, well, that needs to stay there. Should that be brick or smooth stone? Hmm. Now we're looking at just uh, tidying up and making it look good. 
All right, anyway, that's my timer, so that's going to be it for part 236, and I'll see you next time for part 237. Till then, take it easy.